Hello, everybody! This will be two coming at you with my um, episode review of episode seven of Akami Ga Kill. Now, this episode starts off with everyone still moving on with the death of Lele. Um, you've got Mine, who it, her arms hurt, so she she's basically not able to eat that well, and. We have Akami at literally feeding her food because she keeps on dropping her spoon. So we have that. But Tatsumi is looking at Akami and he's like, How your friend just died, how can you be so composed? This is what he's thinking. How can you act so calm and composed and everything? So later in the episode he's up at night, he goes into the kitchen and he finds Akami. And she has three do uh, three rows of dongo. And, um, which are these dumplings? And she, on sticks. And he goes like, oh, you're up for a midnight snack. And she's like, no, those were Lele's, um, favorite. Uh, I'm having them um, in memory of her. And he's like, how can you be so calm and composed? Your friend just died. And she loses it. She grabs him by the collar, her heart, hauls him up, and starts sobbing and saying, I have to be this way, or other else, when if I can't stay calm, then when I go into battle next time, I will probably die. So I need to stay calm. And he's like, he's like, how could I have been so dumb, so foolish, so un un understanding, and basically punches himself in the face, and basically, um, to basically say, see, now I'm composed again. I can go from here to this is me getting composed. So sh we have this understanding now that he's getting that even though the members of the night raid aren't showing the emotions as much as some others, they all feel the loss of their friend. So that's very important. Also in the episode we have uh, the fact that Estaf, who is the female general who just conquered the north has come back. And basically, the king is like, "I will give you money, a reward, and everything." She's like, "Like, so I'm going to send the money to my um troops. Give them all the money that you're going to give me. Have them disperse it. Give them that. I don't want money." So the king's like, "What are you? What do you want? What do you want in compensation?" She's like, "I want a husband." <laughs> yeah, she wants a husband. She's this cold-blooded female killing general. And she wants a husband. That's what she wants. So, he's like, how about the Prime Minister? And she's like, like all wonderful that is, probably on our honeymoon night, I would give him a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, he's so fucking high blood pressure, she would probably kill him through the sex. So, there's not that. So, in that point, I was thinking, at this point, is she going to run into Tatsumi? Is this Esta? going to run into Tatsumi later in the episode, is she going to fall in love with Tatsumi and think, oh, he's the guy, and we're going to have this, ooh, right, the killer general is going to fall in love with the Night Raid member, but that didn't happen, that was just a prediction I had at that point, but we also find out that her three subordinates, her three powerful subordinates, have been going from kingdom to kingdom, slaying member people, usually rebelling people and then littering it with flyers claiming that the um, night raid troop were the ones doing it. And in this process, people know that Estas back, so they're like the night troop is basically split up into two teams, one to guard this individual and one to basically watch Estas. And the one to guard the individual is Tatsumi and Bulat. And this is very important because in there in the time, Bulat tells Tatsumi about a former general he had who found out that the prime minister had risen to his position through bribery and all that, and that his general had, had been forced to go to uh, the capital to defend himself and then just disappeared. And this is important because in the process of protecting, one of the three subordinates uses a flute, which knocks everyone out except for Blue, Blot, and Tatsumi. And Tatsumi fights against one of them, who has a double 
has a um a double edge um separating axe which is a imperial arm and in the battle basically Tatsumi almost gets pretty hurt and um Balut steps in, saves his ass, kills one of them, knocks the other two down, and lo and behold, one of the ones he knocked down, who is Estas three subordinates who are working for Estoth, turns out to be Yes, Bulat's general. So somehow Bulat's general didn't fully disappear. He became Estas um one of her three most powerful subordinates and are now is now working for the kingdom. Thus in the next episode, Bulat and this general of his who is his general are going to have to face off face to face. So this is going to be a really interesting fight. I'm really looking forward to the next episode. The fact that Bulat's going to have to face someone from his past in battle. That's going to be great. That's going to be interesting. I am hope Bulat wins because it would suck if we lost a second member of the Night Raid so quickly. Thus... This is the old boy 82 saying, if you like this video, please click like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. This is your way to Sunny. Oh!